वेलकम बैक दिस इज अ टू मार्क्स क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम गेट 2008 एग्जाम लेट्स रीड द स्टेटमेंट अज्यूम दैट इफेक्टिव एड्रेस x प्लस इज द इफेक्टिव एड्रेस इक्वल टू द कॉन्टेंट्स ऑफ लोकेशन x विद x इंक्रीमेंटेड बाय वन वर्ड लेंथ आफ्टर द इफेक्टिव एड्रेस इज कैलकुलेटेड लेट मी एक्सप्लेन दिस लाइन सो यू आर गिवन दैट मीनिंग ऑफ दिस नोटेशन इज the effective address lies on a memory location x okay these brackets indicate that x is a memory location you go to that memory location there you will find the effective address also you increment x by 1 due to this plus this is a post increment i am repeating the statement it says ea is equal to x plus is the effective address equal to contents of location x effective address is equal to contents of location x that means location x contains the effective address and we also need to increment this x by 1 now x will point to the next location or next word similarly meaning of this notation the second one is effective address is equal to plus x means said so this is the location x now this one is a pre increment that means you need to increment x before accessing so actually effective address lies at location next to the location x that means said so this one is x now first of all you will increment x now x is going to point to the next one here okay because we have incremented it then at this location you are going to find your effective address this one is very similar to the first one because it is post decrement this is post increment anyways i'll explain this effective address lies on location x you fetch the effective address but also decrement x by 1 after fetching okay this Uh, fourth one e a is e a is equal to minus x means your effective address lies on location previous to x one location before x say this location is x x points to this location now what you are going to do first of all you will decrement x that means make x point to the previous location okay so you have decremented x then fetch the address from that location okay now what they are asking is first let's continue reading our question e a is equal to minus x is the effective address equal to contents of location x with x decremented by one word length before the effective address is calculated similarly ea is equal to x minus is the effective address equal to the contents of location x with x decremented by one word length after the effective address is calculated the format of instruction is opcode source destination which means destination source op uh, operation destination so what they mean is for example in this instruction this one this one is the destination because they have mentioned instruction is opcode source destination this is opcode this is source this is desti destination that means you add both of them and save the result back into the second operand using access tag pointer which of the following instructions can pop the two elements from the stack perform addition operation and push the result back to the stack that means x is pointer of uh, pointing to the top of the stack and we need to pop the top two elements say so this is our stack it has some n number of elements and the top two elements are 2 and say 
Now this x contains the address of this top element. Okay, that means inside x you'll find the address of top of the stack. Now let's do one thing. First of all, let's see without these instruction what's going to happen. First of all, we are going to pop. Then we are going to decrement x minus minus x. When we pop, this element is popped from the stack. Then we also need to explicitly make x point to this element because this one is now gone. Okay. Then again we are going to pop. So this 7 is also gone. Okay. Now we'll add 7 and 2. And we get a result 9. Okay. Then we'll push the result onto the stack. Now please note that. Here we don't need to decrement x because we don't want x to point to this location. Why? Because anyways we have to push the result here only. That means we need to save 9 here. Even if we decremented x, even here, if we decrement x, then we again need to increment it to make it point to this 9. So what's better solution? You don't decrement it the second time. Okay, now let's see which instruction will serve our purpose. First one says, fetch the value from x and then decrement it. That means earlier x was pointing to 2, this was 7 and x was pointing to 2. You fetch the value that means pop and then decrement x. Okay. Then for second operand, you just take the value x, don't change where x points to. That means you just take this value 7, fetch it, but don't change x. Okay, that's what we are doing here. Then you add them, add them, that means this line and the result will be 9. You save the result back to this operand only. Okay, that means again save the result back to x. That's what we wanted to do. So our answer is option number one.